We have defeated our oppressor. We've defeated the oppressors of others. We even defeated the father who rose in the north, uniting what used to be nothing but uncivilized territory. And now we have formed the far eastern Soviet Republic. Under the rule of the mighty Soblin, a very, dare I say, wholesome man who may be the last up of Russia, who may be the man who can unite this country with some dignity, dignity in a world in great need of it. For in Germany, the same fate is questioned. Two men, Martin Bormann and Hermann Goering, uh, they fight against each other for the fate of Europe. One of these men has a very dangerous um, set of ideas. Uh, we, we definitely don't want him to be winning. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we have a lot of work to do. Russia is divided into four sections. Each of these sections will slowly unify. And we were the first ones to unify. We were kind of ahead of the curve there. We'll now need to build up to prepare against the next threat, whether it be Tomsk or the Siberian Black Army. One side is oppressing the workers. The other side, I, I, I'm sure they're doing something wrong. Well, uh, they're they're at least probably not as wholesome as us, you know. And we have to have a wholesome Russia here. That's that's the goal. <laughs> And the trial of Father Alexander Men. Alexander Vladimirovich Men began brawn as Soblin noticed how Men didn't tense even the slightest as his sentence was read out. This court of soldiers and workers finds you guilty of crimes against the socialist revolution. You are hereby sentenced to two years and six months of rehabilitative labor in the service of the revolution. Dismissed. Standing men slightly made the sign of the cross, he, he went out with dignity, allowing the soldiers to take him outside without resistance. Interesting, this Alexander Men guy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he will one day again serve the people. We'll have to core the lands of the north, bring the workers under our banner for the future conflicts. I could see Zukov here as maybe being somewhat of a friend, but uh, I feel like his authoritarian socialism is somewhat similar to what we had to rebel from in the first place. Other than that, I don't see very many allies in our midst. And American industrial assistance, they're investing in our factories. I feel like this is very unsocialist to have American capitalists investing in our c country. Uh, it's free civilian factory and industrial development. Uh, okay, sure. And more American stuff. The cargo is provided by our American CIA contacts as they seek to help us in our quest to eventually rebuild Russia? Wait, the CIA is supporting socialist revolutionaries in this timeline? God bless America. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I thought if anything, they'd be helping out Tomsk. They're a conservative democracy. Well, I guess they are a liberal democracy, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess in this timeline, the Soviets didn't win, so there was no Cold War and no need to, like, vilify communism. Interesting. I guess America might be our good friend in this world. We are extremely close to their border, too. Well, that's actually Japan. Up here, we're extremely close to their border. Wait, more American supplies? I mean, this is the third American supplies event already since I unified the East. America. Uh, America, do you, I don't know. And red sun rising. Look, comrades, shouted Markiev, pointing to the sun as it crested over the horizon. A red sun rises. The heavens themselves turn out for the revolution. That got a ragged cheer from Soblin and the others. Staring into the reddening sky, Soblin couldn't wipe the grin from his face. Against the most impossible odds, they have succeeded. The fight isn't over until you win. That's true. I guess it's time for more action. And we're changing the name of the capital of Verknudinsk to Ulan Ude, I guess. The birthplace of the revolution, as a kind of thank you to the Buryatian people who started the revolution, because as we spread to greater places, we don't want the people who started this thing to be forgotten. And so now we choose between kind of a top-down state and a bottom-up state, a state where the conversation is controlled by the people at the head of the revolution or where the workers lead the revolution. I think we should probably go with this one. We need to go with the more wholesome choices here. We are the good guys after all, we can't do anything to scare the US away from giving us supplies, I guess. Oh no, wait a second. I thought that empowering the people would um, make the Americans happy, but apparently the Americans are choosing favorites and 
they're favoriting the Bukharanites instead of the Sablanites. So they're favoring the more authoritarian wing? Great help from our capitalist comrades regardless, sure. I like how much help they're giving, it's kind of funny. But uh, anyway, it's a little concerning that they that they don't like Soblin's ideology, but hey, at least they're helping us. I don't think they're helping any of the other Russias, I would guess. I don't know, maybe they are. Well, the South Africa, Middle Africa war ended. That's interesting. Also, I just noticed that Madagascar has two separate states, which is interesting. Also, Borman seems to be maybe winning. Just looking at the army and the industry, he's winning, but... Uh, the, the lines haven't really changed on the map at all in a long time. Oh, and the second I say something, um, it looks like Goering's forces just fell apart, so peace returns to Germany. Oh no. Hopefully they're just happy and everything's okay. <laughs> oh, well, Germany is already invading neutral Netherlands, I guess. Uh, so much for peace, but um, I'm sure things will be fine. They just need a strong power. They need a strong neighbor to the east to be like their father figure who will just tell them to stop doing stuff, okay? There's a void right there that Germany needs someone to fill, and I know, I know the perfect demand to do that for Germany. Okay, and another area of Russia has finally unified. Tomsk unifies central Siberia. Another challenger for reunification. Wait! Our comrades, a Siberian Workers' Federation has arisen in the Central Siberian Republic. Beautiful, wait, how can we help these guys? How They're probably gonna be crushed, actually. Actually, they have probably more divisions than Tomsk. Is this gonna actually overthrow these guys? Okay, so we're now looking at the wider world because even though our main focus will be Russia for the years to come, there are a lot of other places that we have interests in. Germany, apparently there is no um, hope for any liberal thought at all. And what of America, Soblin asked. Looking at the United States, America, Braun muttered. Following their defeat by Japan, it appears that the public is losing faith in the bourgeois capitalist order with their their opponents forming the National Progressive Party against the unified liberal Republican Democrat Party. Zoblin smiled. <laughs> well, I guess the party isn't completely socialist, but oh well. So now we can side with the Americans or simply just side with fellow revolutionaries who are socialist. But I feel like there's hope in America for the revolution, but uh, I, d I don't know, maybe not. It's hard to say. I really don't know what to think. The United States can be an ally to us in this revolution. If the OFN is our enemy or our friend. Yeah, I feel like with the United States supporting the other wing of our party, they will never truly be interested in the revolution. I feel like we would only become a puppet of theirs if we were to beg for their assistance. It's probably better that we stand and die on our own than fall subject to the United States and win, but win a false victory. Oh no, we're forming, you know, we're forming our dream team here. Uh, Soblin and Castro, you know? Fidel was grinning. He grasped Soblin's hands with both of his own and turned to the camera, which concluded its business in a succession of flashes. What you've achieved for socialism in Russia is exceptional, Valerie, said Castro. I've been following up with the events here for a long time. The Cuban people will be happy to offer you whatever assistance they can. Soblin accepted the flattery with a smile. I'm very happy you are here, Fidel. <laughs> oh, what is this? We also made a visit to the great city of London to visit the Socialist Party there, have some fun. Unfortunately, right now, England is led by the military, so I don't think there are uh, closest allies here. So we'll, we'll see what happens there, though. Maybe some change can happen, I don't know. And the newly unified Western Russian Free Republic has gotten itself involved in a war with Finland. These two together have more divisions than the Western Russian Free Republic does, so um, that's, that's not good for them. Of course, they're by no means our friends, but I would prefer if Finland didn't get, grab any more territory in Russia. And the tyrants fear our might. The Germans are afraid of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the second most powerful country in the world behind the US is afraid of some random Russian warlord, sure. I mean, I mean, of course they're afraid. They're afraid of the revolution. They're afraid of our ideas, of course, because they fear that their people might agree with us, of course. But yeah, we're massively improving relations with and building up trade with Cuba. It's a very interesting relationship here. Ah yes, and we have invited comrades from all across the world, from every country, especially ours in Cuba. I guess we're kind of the two countries leading whatever. But yeah, it representatives from everybody to make 
a new international. <laughs> yes, I feel like we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves considering we haven't even unified Russia yet, but uh, it's it's fine. Hey, everything's good for now. We need to get a head start with international politics. Oh, instead of the common turn, we now have the Sosin turn. <laughs> sure, yeah. Sure, yeah, that's that's great, yeah. I guess we have a Sosin turn collective defense fund. Very interesting. I don't know if there will be very much we can do with that. I assume that's probably going to be added in future versions of this mod. Svetlana, wait, Stalin's daughter? Isn't that Stalin's daughter? Wait, why is Stalin's daughter leading the Western Russian Free Republic? In a world where Stalin never rose to power, his daughter now rules over Western Russia. And Germany is getting way too close to our domain again. They've, they've already reestablished their rule over Moscow. Wait, the new leader of the West Siberian Republic is Boris Yeltsin? Boris, you're, you're doing this a little early, man. Um, <laughs> this is like, you know, Russia's greatest figures here. And we finally improved the army to a state where, you know, Soblin smiled. He seems to do that a lot. It's it's nice. He's probably happy about these babies. Ugh. They're actually not really even tanks right now. Yeah, let's let's fix that. I, I didn't have any army experience until I just completed that focus that gave us a whole bunch. Ah, oh, yes, and a fleet of our own. Of course, we need some good naval commanders, too, to lead whatever fleet we have. Yeah, yeah, we have a nice little fleet. Nothing much, but it'll be good. We'll put this guy in charge of the fleet. And France, Hungary, and Romania have all become puppets of the Italians, where the Germans have expanded to the east. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with everybody now. Oh wait, Spain and Portugal split up again. Yes, Portugal, welcome back to the world. And the first 40 with Chad tank is out and ready for duty. It is soon time for us to begin a unification to fight against the bourgeois to the west here. And looking at all four Russias, it appears we have the most sieves out of anybody. And then with Mills, us three more towards the east are all about tied. 35, 31, and 32. So I guess the West Siberian Republic has the most, but yeah. But anyway, it is time that we begin the invasion. We have been at peace for long enough. Here we go, it's begun. Uh, this infantry division is losing this battle, but yeah, they, let's test out the Chad tank. Ultimate power right there. <laughs> you know you're doing pretty good when you have 2,497 and a half breakthrough. Yeah, that's a lot of breakthrough. I think this division is literally invincible. <laughs> That was pathetically easy. This this Chad tank. Oh, we, we need to give this Chad tank a good name. This is probably the best Chad tank ever made. There, well, my tea shaky. There we go for for tank shaky. Oh yes. And as we integrate all these states and get all this new manpower, we will. Uh, do the Siberian reunification. Now we are simply the Siberian Socialist Republic. Perfect. Into the Atomic Age, ooh. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now. We will continue this next time as we continue to fight the good fight and unify Russia. Russia.